All right, here we're going to be looking at an example of a seborrheic keratosis. And this is uh, one of our many different benign epithelial neoplasms that we talk about during the course. Uh, this one's fairly common in middle-aged to older adults. And um, it's the classic stuck-on lesion that you'll hear in the uh, question stem. Uh, when you see a seborrheic keratosis histologically, uh, some of the defining features are first these cysts, and this is what we would call a keratin cyst. Um, so here you can see that this cystic structure is filled with this uh, keratin, uh, same as all of these scattered around. Uh, there's no nuclei in it, it's anucleate keratin. Sometimes they're called keratin horn cysts, and you can actually see why. So this cyst is kind of opened up, and a little horn of keratin is. Uh, kind of sticking out of there. Uh, so these keratin cysts are a very helpful feature. Uh, another thing that we see that's actually quite helpful, but you have to go down to higher power to see, is that uh, this uh, tumor actually has a proliferation of the basal cells. And so you'll see that from the bottom to the top of this lesion, uh, you're going to actually have basal cells. So they go all the way to the surface. Uh, this makes them look a little purple at low power. Uh, but, you know, it's a benign basal or proliferation. One of the other things that uh, you commonly see in these is that they, became, they can become pigmented. Uh, often in the clinic, this may look like a, a pigmented lesion that, you know, you could raise concern for melanoma. However, uh, they're completely benign. So in this one, you can see in these cells in this area, uh, that we have a little bit of melanin pigment kind of scattered around in the uh, epidermis here and then in the dermis. So these are all features of a seborrheic keratosis uh, that you can see histologically. And remember that whenever you see uh, hundreds of these uh, pop up, one thing you always want to make sure you rule out is some kind of visceral malignancy like a stomach cancer. So in summary, we have a seborrheic keratosis with multiple keratin cysts and a basal proliferation of cells.